let's not spiritualize the podcast. And it has landed people in, in that situation because you're always like, let's take it. And let's think we are going to get a lot of things out of the house. To another episode of Backstage, a Dominion TV YouTube production where we talk about pertinent issues that affect the Christian youth in the 21st century. And the best part is that you get to share your views on some of these issues and sometimes even be part of the program. Okay, so today we talk about mental health. October 10th is officially Mental Health Awareness Day, and we, Dominion TV, are interested to know what you think about mental health. How you deal with people who battle with mental health, especially within the Christian community where it's often looked down upon and you know, the consensus really is, oh, you can just pray it away, you don't really have to go for therapy. So that is what we want to tackle today. And I'm joined with some really, 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 really cool young people. And I'll start from my left. Um, I have Francis Yobo. Francis Yobo is a community mental health practitioner at Kolego Teaching Hospital and in the Department of Psychiatry. And he will be giving us all the professional things and finding really difficult terms that some of us cannot pronounce. So, welcome, Francis, to Backstage. And then on my right, I have Maya Inspires, who is going to really inspire all of us with her wisdom nuggets. Maya is a media personality who is into the arts and she's also very passionate about mental health. And then, of course, I have Eunice, who is an actress and a model, and she'll be sharing some great insights on mental health, especially given that she's casted in a series before where she was a mental health victim, and she can tell us a little bit more about that. So that is what we want to discuss on today's episode of Backstage. So to my guests, welcome to the show again. So, you're welcome. Okay. So, when, when I talk about mental health, what comes to your mind? Yeah, 
Right. And, and then, so what happened, like, after that? Like, what were some of the behaviors that the character was saying? Yeah, I was just happy to be there. And people really have it. I was, I said, I was really happy. I said, I was really happy. I said, I was I just laughed. It's not funny, but it's not. Like, I'll see you and then I want to, like, like, do something to you. Yeah. And then I'll, like, I'm just off. I'm just off. I'm just off. So, so, since you're the professor, like, what would you do for general of that? I'm like, it's like, she's taking off the shoulders. Does somebody always have to ask, like, that wants to know that she has, she still only has, like, a mental issue? Because once she's discovered that someone is broken heart, and so the broken heart also calls, Mental health issues. I have to take my to the Okay. Someone to take off their secrets or just be laughing at 
any random text to know that, okay, this person is really not okay. You know, what are some of the things we can look out for? Okay, so one of the things we have that's over talking. For example, you're having a conversation with a person, and the person starts to over <laughs> explain themselves. Yeah. And after it has ended, they still come back and say, about stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, I got it. And I stood in my room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they come back. Okay. So sometimes we mistake it for being very intelligent. Oh, mm-hmm. they're very really smart in food and stuff like that. And they are very smart. Mm-hmm. Such people, like, they have this, they, they have this, I don't know, they have this wisdom, this sense of energy. So I know, oh, it's nice, nice. The woman, the woman should give them a chance. Okay, they're coming to you every time. And that's my personal um, observation from one that I got recently. And the second one is being uh, extremely excited. Okay. Yeah, yeah. one year. Uh, why are you doing that? Yeah, no, I'm also extremely excited. I'm also excited. When I'm not feeling too good, that's when I go off. But this person is not even funny. Like, I'm not asking people to frown, but you can tell that there's something funny. And I really love it. I really Yes, it, it doesn't mean that everybody who does that is, is off, but it's also a sign to look out for because I have gotten close to somebody who went from that to work from being like a normal person to that. So you do like two signs that I have personally encountered that I like to share. And so, you know, let's talk a little bit about the perspective, especially given that we're within an African setting, we're in the African continent, you know. So people think, well, if you have such issues, your past, is your village people doing this, is this, is that, or you do this thing, that's why you're becoming that. Like, you know, your parents are both through something very crucial. You know, she has to be, the, I think the parents want to kind of decide whether is it a hospital, is it a nurse, is it a thing. What exactly happens is that? That means, like, my dad in the movie, my dad is like me. You guys think, like, it's more madness in me. That's what he was saying. Mm-hmm. So he was like, and um, the doctors are not doing their job. He wants to take um, his, his child to, like, the pastor or someone, like, mm-hmm. someone's great child. Just, you know, like, you're trying to pray. Mm-hmm. And then they did the same thing still. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't care the pastor. I was just looking at the pastor. I didn't even recognize my parents. Like, oh, my God, these people. Like, they want to touch me. Like, I want to. I even tried because I didn't get there. Like, it was like, I'm not going to my mind. Yeah. But sometimes I think I'm going to go and I'm like, I'm still laughing. Yeah. I was like, what's this? Like, what's this? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to go and I'm 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 like, even if it's spiritual, God directs. So as we pray, He directs you. He doesn't always want us to pray and then pray that on the earth. And we are praying. And we are coming to those two people. So we need to understand that God works two people. That's how come we have different professions. We have a doctor, we have a lady, we have. The idea you have about your house, when you explain it to an architect, He's able to bring it into life, right? Yeah. Bring it to life. Why can't you pray to God and then ask Him to maybe give you the spirit of discernment to discern what's actually happening mm-hmm. to your world or your relative or your friend? Mm-hmm. And then allow Him. That's, that's the difficult part to get it back. I'm, I'm like saying it like that. It's, you know, it's, it's cool. But if you have a situation, you do not want people to take it. Mm-hmm. You do not want people to also know yeah. that. Someone around you is going to make fun of the child. So you would rather want to uh, pray in your corner and expect that the work is happening in your corner without people getting to know. People even go to, go, to, go to the extent of not allowing other people who can help get to know. Because I don't know what Adra will go say after or who will go say after. But I believe, I believe. That God has a way of speaking to us. You understand? And He will direct you to a doctor, a psychologist, or somebody who will even give you a word of advice. 
the Lord. So things are wrong for me. So let's not spiritualize him into a whole challenge. Yes, yes, we have to spiritualize because it has, it has landed people in, in, in bad situations because you are always like, we let's pray for And let's think you are going to work and a person is out and about. What if you don't find him on there again? So, but I have a question on that. Is there a way you can even tell whether like it's a spiritual or it's a really, 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 you know, health emergency kind of thing? Once in a while, I like to speak to the Lord and just to understand that you see, you can to do Thank you. 
time, we are able to know somebody can confess them. Please, go on and ask for them because they need to be yeah, I just said that see, having mental health issues and then saying, no, I'm not going to see a doctor or a practitioner about it. It's like saying, oh, I'm very sick, I have malaria, but I'm not going to take drugs. You know, the drugs are supposed to help me manage your symptoms as well. And poorly, right? So, yeah. And that's all, yeah. And, and it's going back to what I saying. Just because you're choosing to take the drug doesn't mean that you don't believe in the power of God to save you. It's like, let's say, let's take no as, as an example, right? Let's say if the people that decided that, no, I'm not going to go because I'm going to have faith that I will swim over this water. But God himself has said, get into the boat if you want to be safe. So just like what you're saying, God will use the different people to bring you to a place of healing. So, guys, are we telling Christians to go for therapy? Are we considering Jesus and therapy? Or are we just doing Jesus and then are we just doing therapy alone? What are we doing? I'm um, going um, to go into those places that are in the United times. Dear Christians, <laughs> it's Jesus and therapy. You can pray about it and go to a hospital about it. Because what did happen to your character at that time? Which one did you do? Which one helped? Or what have those things that helped you? Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I said, I'm not going to do any more. I love and deceive you. I love that. I have to focus. And I'm cool and then my career. No boyfriend. So, if you are a victim of mental 
help you show you can have any kind of practitioner or a particular medication. All that I want to say is that you can carry on for your medication, because you have treatment regimen, and everything is going to be fine. So don't last in my eyes before you know that it is. It's a little bit of 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 a little bit and my final and my final words would be take the advice because they said it all. Do exactly what they say. Watch your dosage, take your medication well, be nice to people, love people more, and keep your life.